Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is kind of the part two of the MoYu London haul. So in the first video, I showed you guys their neon collection. So if you guys would like to see that one, I will try and leave it down in the description below. But this one here is everything I got from their kind of sale section that they've got going on right now. So if you like any of those, go ahead and go get some. They've got so much more colors. I've only kind of got colors that I don't have at the moment. So they do have quite plenty of colors that I already have. So do go and have a look. They were super affordable. I think they're usually about, I think eight pounds maybe eight pounds something. I can't remember, but I paid for some of these 250, three pounds, 50 maximum, I wanna say. So highly recommend, highly, highly, highly. So uh, without further ado, let me show you guys the plates first because that's the one thing I didn't get on sale because it wasn't on sale, but I really wanted to get that one. I think is one of their newer collections and I decided to get that one. So this one's called Paradise Zero One and this is what it looks like i mean i am screaming this is beautiful and i literally love the palm trees i really wanted a plate that had these like super long palm trees um and like the parrots and the flamingos and all of the leaves i literally oh my god this plate is screaming my name i'm obsessed like oh my god oh my goodness so this is beautiful this one's called paradise collection zero one very pretty you can create such cool designs with this and you get a really cool background to them as well which i think is so cool it really makes them a bit more unique to all the other companies out there i reckon and you'll always remember where you get this plate because it's always always in the background and it matches with their like collection that it came out with which is really cool so there's that one i'll leave it in the background and let's dig in to the colors and as you can see there's quite a lot there's quite a lot of purples i don't have a lot of purples so that's maybe what was kind of drawing me to the purples but but yeah so starting off we've got this beautiful baby pink it's almost like this blush would you call it blush maybe like a pale pink this one is called candy floss which i think is a very cute name okay and this is what it looks like in the bottle very pretty this one's gonna be so cute for some like delicate stamping just because this color isn't so much in your face I feel like this one look, would look really cool for some flowers, maybe. Maybe some, like, pale roses. That would look really nice. So, let's dig into the purples now. I think, give or take, they're in, like, lighter, darker. So, this one's called Soft Iris, or Iris. And this is a very nice, pale, almost pastel -y kind of shade. I'd describe it as really nice. The brush is super nice. I love this brush. You could even probably paint your nails with these, to be honest. That's how nice the brush is. It will fit very nice around the cuticles. So this one's a 10 mil. This one's a 9. I don't even really understand what's the difference. I mean, they look the same size-wise. They're the same. I'm not sure what the difference is. But in case, that one's 9. That one's 10. Cool, cool. Next up, we've got Sweet Wisteria. I don't know. I might be completely butching those names. This one's another 9 mil. And this one's a slightly darker shade. Not so pastel -y no more, but a really beautiful purple. Oh yeah, this one's cute. Very cute. And also, I don't know whether it's because they're literally on sale section, but some of them are like separating. I don't know if you can see, I'll bring it up in a moment to the camera. But even this one's got like some pinky shades that are kind of coming out of the bottle. So I have ordered some of those like metal balls to pop in there. So that's not a problem. They're like not fault or anything they just kind of need to shake up and without those balls you can't really shake them up properly so i need to get the balls pop them in there shake them a little bit and they'll really nicely mix up the shades all together again so this one's the more darker shade this one's got very like bluey undertones compared to that one for example and this one is called periwinkle beautiful and this is what this one's looking like that one's really nice it's got like a really cool undertone to it a really cold undertone kind of thing very pretty and then the next one the last purpley color is called sweet lilac and that one's a nine mil this one was a 10 mil so there's that one and that one's a very warmy kind of color oh this one for example you can open with the cap there we go but all the rest doesn't work i don't know <laughs> i don't know what's going on with that majority of them don't work to be honest there we go very pretty very very pretty cool okay we've got four more left to go this one is one of the pink ones this one's called flirt 
Tatious and it's one of their like a bit more of a fuchsia, like a deeper Barbie pinky kind of color. Oh, this one can't open. So this one looks like this. Very nice. This one would be very cool as well with some flowers. Very cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Got three more to go. Now this one is like super separating as you can see. But I don't have a lot of greens and obviously when you do flower kind of stamping, greens are like a must. So this one is called Icy Jade and this one's a 9mm. I don't know if I said this one is a 9mm as well. Um, and it's this really nice pale green. I do have some more deeper greens. I don't have a pale green so I thought it might be quite nice to get it. And I feel like it, for example pairing these two together would be quite cute to put some pink flowers with some very nice delicate green as like the stems and the leaves coming off the flower. I thought that would be quite cool to do. So this one looks like this. Pretty pretty. Pretty pretty very pretty. <laughs> We've got two more very similar shades i feel like they had a few more extra shades that were super similar and i was kind of trying to debate between the two or however many there were like four maybe uh, but i got these two this one's also separating I, they're probably that's probably why they're probably on sale because they're kind of maybe been on their website for a long time who knows but i don't mind you just need to they're literally not broken you just need to get a little ball in there shake it up a little bit and it's good to go so this one is called first kiss and this one is a nine mil It's a very nice, almost like a skin tone kind of colour, I'd say, in person. It looks very like a peachy skin, and like a skin colour. You might see, very cute as well. See, the thing is with stamping, it just feels like you, you kind of need all the colours because you never know when you might need a purple or a green or anything else <laughs> until you kind of go ahead to stamp and then you go, oh, damn it i wish i had a green to do this and this stamping for example imagine if i had no green how would i do a palm tree or like i don't know another yeah or like a leaf how i could obviously do a different color um leaf or anything else but you know it's just frustrating and that's probably why my addiction has become to buying all of these because i just want all the colors i don't want to be limited by anything <laughs> and next up and the very very last polish we've got is called malibu tan so that's actually a nice little way of describing these. These are quite tanny kind of colours, like a skin colour. I don't know. Uh, this, yeah, Malibu Tan. And this one's another 9mm. Oh, this one opens as well. That's really nice. Okay, there we go. Very cute. Very orangey, this one. Very orangey. And you know what? I was thinking about these caps. If you really like to do it with the actual like cap, you can always like glue them together. And then you'll be good to go. Very cool. I like them a lot. So now I've got a ton of these. I don't even have space for these anymore. So I'm going to have to figure out where to put them. I might pop them onto those like acrylic stands to kind of display in the backgrounds. Um, where, where I say I've got this like white shelving unit and I feel like those would fit quite nicely in there with the rest of my neon colours and the other Moe London polishes I have. Put them in the rainbow um, order and just whack them in the background. That would be kind of cool. So I hope you guys like this video. Do go ahead and check them out. I think they're literally amazing. I don't have any discount codes. It's not a promoted video. I just love the products so much. So if you do think that you'd like some, go ahead because they do still have them on sale. I'll try and get this out as soon as possible so you can still grab a little bargain if you're into that. That. and yeah so if you did like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye guys